Last year, in June 2024, for the record, I published a video complaining a lot about Evernote templates because they were driving me crazy. <laughs> well, things are much better now. Many of my complaints were addressed. So let's take a look at how templates work now. The first thing you notice is this new item here on the sidebar templates. If we click here, we will see all our templates. In my case, it's empty. I didn't create any templates uh, in this account. But if we go back to notes here, I can select any node, go to the three dot menu here and save this as a template. And similar to what happens on Trello, for example, there is uh, an information here telling us that this note is now a template, meaning that you can change this note and do anything to this note just like any other note and everything you change on this note will be part of the template from that point on. And if we go to the templates menu here, now we can see our template here. So let's use uh, a template. There are some ways to do it. One of the ways is clicking here if we are inside the template or if we are here in the list of notes, we can click here, use this template, choose a place to create a note based on this template and create. So I can call this meeting B. And as you notice, we have the table here, we have the tag, and pretty much everything that I test work. Uh, uh, the note was created with everything I had on the original note. So let's go to this one here. This is a much more uh, elaborated note. There, there are many things here. So let's convert this save as a template. Let's go back here so you can see that the notes, this, this both are here. Both notes are, are set as templates. So let's create a new, oh, this is another way to create. We can create a new node. And from here, much, much, much better. <laughs> Click here, my templates, and you see the same thing that you have uh, inside that, that menu there. So let's choose this one here, subscribe, and let's create a note based on that template. And as you can see, it's also uh, copying the images. Uh, for some reason, it's, it is taking a little while, but we can see that the, the headings are here, the notes are, everything is here. So pretty cool, the images, and we can now create a new title for this note. Okay, uh, it's much better, but there are still some problems here. If we go back to this note here and go to, this is the original note, and go to the note info, you see that this note was created uh, back in March, 2024. And if we go to the template and the, the, the note created based, based on the template and grab the note info for that note, the same thing. I don't think this makes any sense because this is a new note. So it should have the current date, today's date instead of the date of the template. This is one problem. Another problem that I noticed, I, I think this is pretty easy to address. Uh, it's just a matter of deciding which one is the correct date. Uh, I think the correct date should be the date of uh, the creation of the note, the new note. Would love to know what you think about this. And there's also another problem if we go to the settings and go to the daily note. Not a problem, maybe they will add this in the future. So daily note, I don't use this, but let's turn it on. And now there is this here daily note template. So if I click here, this is this was one of my complaints on that video. And I still cannot choose one of my templates from that list. So it's still showing me this three limited options which I think they will uh, at some point uh, include, also include a link to the templates. This should be the, the, 
the source for all the tablets. That's it for this one. Would love to hear your opinion on this. Is it enough? Are you happy with this? And what about the creation date? Should the templates be created with today's date or keep the creation date of the original note? Anyway, please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.